Okay, guys, welcome back to Sanctuary RPG Black Edition. Let's um, let's do something other than just press play because I noticed something in the uh, when, when we were playing yesterday, or when I watched back actually the playback of that, at least the first few minutes of it. I noticed an option that I did not avail myself of, um, and it might be too late to do so. Sorry, let me unzip this hoodie because it's hot. Uh, let's go to settings, enter, and tutorial. We will toggle to on. Maybe that'll help. Maybe there'll be uh, automatic combat. All kinds of options here. But let's just put the tutorial on for now and hope that that helps us. You can see 578 experience earned, 4 enemies slain, 6 items found. Let's play again. Um, we're going to load Jeff. 22? I think I hit 22 to load Jeff. Who might be a fourth level classic paladin, maybe? That seemed to work. Save the village, destroy the raiders in the rogue camp. Alright, you got it. Um, I don't remember if we went over to the rogue camp and realized, holy shit, it's too uh, difficult to win. I'm just looking at the day now. I do see this line is, I think it's like the setting sun. Like maybe we're, we have a few hours of daylight left and that's it. I'm going to suggest we go to West Haven Fields until, I don't know, until we feel more confident in uh, taking on more shit. Let me just make sure this is recording properly. Yep. Alright, back to it. Um, let's go to West Haven Fields. Here we go. Oh, it's a... It's, a, it's Vampiric. A Lurg. Is attempting to stand up. Vampiric enemies will heal continuously, so unless we're doing massive damage, we're not going to be able to kill it. And look at his stats compared to ours. Um, run? All in favor, say, get the fuck out of here. I failed, but the Lurg is dazed. Let's try again. It's not hitting me for much. Let's try, let's just give it a, a, a moment's effort. Bashing it, I can hit it for 95. Let's try the X Smite Flurry. Let's try the Divine Justice. Alright, wait, we can get this. And let's try the Final Blast. Oh, hells yeah, we can do this. Let's not even bother healing. Well, let's heal once. Should we heal once? Let's heal once. Then Divine Rend. Axe Reckoning. Apparently Shield Slam. Just, I'm just going down the list, man. And the finisher, Mending Slam. Holy shit, 500% attack? Attack must have something to do with the damage we do, because we did 561 damage there. We killed it. That's cool, with our big old spear thing. Um, we obliterated it, as a matter of fact. We have 45 experience, 206 gold. I guess that's good for gold. We leveled up. Always a welcome sight. What are we going to put it into here, guys? I'm thinking our... our, like our Let's do an intelligence for now. How much do we get? Four stat points. Although we do have to start specializing, don't we? Because we had something we saw where we can... Uh, I don't remember what it was. You had to have 300 in, each st in a given stat to do whatever it was we were trying to do yesterday. I don't even remember what the hell it was we were trying to do, but... I do recall that that was the case. I'm going to put it into... Attack again. Let's try and kill these things fast. And let's just stick with our freaking mastery of pole arms and axes. You've unlocked a new ability, Repost. Eye for an eye, deal damage right back to enemies with this powerful move. Repost cures all status ailments as well, so use that to your benefit. Will do. When below... Th oh, we also got Manatide. When below 33% hit points, Manatoid... Toid. Manatoid. Allows you to restore all the mana, yo. Uh, let's do that. Hit key. All right. How are we doing for... Our health is all the way back, so let's just keep wandering the fields for now. Let's try and level up a while, and then we'll go to the road camp. West Haven Fields. Another Lurg. Not a problem. There, you can see the new uh, the new thing there. We have an ultimate. Feral Slash, right off the bat. I mean, do we need to do that right off the bat? No, but can we do it and just kill this thing? Yes. Done. Lurg has been erased. You've erased the Lurg. Plus 35% experience, or 35 rather. 
plus 152 gold, get an item. It's kind of a neat little animation there. New shield, normal targe shield. Oh, this is good. Our old shield is empty. Let's equip that for sure. 10% chance to block, plus 12 to strength, plus 18 to vitality. E. There were a lot of our um, equips, that, or a lot of our um, abilities had something to do with um, a barrier. I don't know what that is. We are at a location, I'm, I'm going to guess again, if you look at this little diagram, it looks like sort of a tower, maybe, and with an X on it. So I think we can go in the tower, is my guess. Let's try pressing X and seeing if that brings us into the tower. Apparently, there's an event in here. Explosive mine. It looks like a huge, impossibly explosive half spear. Um, let's get the fuck away from it. Tiptoe away. We did it. Let's not go back in there. Let's just go back to the West Haven Fields. A mercenary has been spotted walking into the Blacksmith's Ford. Um, so we could go hire them. It costs us one gold per turn or something like that. Well, why don't we do that? Let's see what this is. Learn as much as you can about this game. Blacksmith. Let's hire... We can redeem our scrap metal. Um, mercenaries. E. Agakthane. The ranger will assist us in battle with nine damage. That's not a lot of damage, is it? But we'll take it. Let's say sure, too. So apparently we've hired him. Let's do what is this again, just to be sure we understand. Um, when a mercenary is here, you can hire it. Okay, so we didn't know that before. We couldn't have done it before. You have to wait till a mercenary shows up to be hired. So it's kind of like the Adventurer's Guild we've hired this dude from. During combat, they'll assist you, dealing bonus damage. So I deal an extra 9 damage per turn, I'm guessing. Maybe whether I attack or not, I don't know. Every turn, 1 gold will be detected from your inventory. Okay, we got 2,745. Maybe that's not so bad. If you run out of gold during combat, they'll retreat to the forge. Is every turn of combat, or every turn like we're walking around the map? I don't know. Remember to always dismiss mercenaries if they're too inept. More advanced mercenaries will join you later. Make room for them. Alright. Apparently getting mercenaries is like the thing to do if it's something to make room. That's intriguing. I like that. So we have sort of a follower come with us here. Let's go to back. I don't think we want to activate the mission. We got we got his quest. Well, why don't we? What, what was his mission? How, how can we tell what that was? Five. I currently need one palladium. Please let me know if you have some. It's for Gladius's birthday. Shh, don't tell him. I think we were doing our Scottish accent for him. I forgot about that. Sorry about that. Sorry to break your immersion. Back to West Haven Fields, guys. An event. Another pamphlet. Let's read it. Dear Rento Murder. <laughs> Would it be possible to send help? I'm having a problem with some spiders. Normally I wouldn't help dealing with pests. These are special. You know how they say that spiders are more scared of us than we are of them? Well, whenever the spiders see us, they scream and run away. They've been giving me the heebie-jeebies. Please come quick. This may be the matron's doing. Gerben Residence. Alright, um... There's a combination lock in front of us? What the hell's this thing? I'm going to guess we can type in 77, 88, or 99 to open one of these three random chests? That, that, I'm, this is kind of weird, guys. I'm going to go with 77. Chest open, yeah. We found three random chests, I guess. Item found. Alright, um, a new charm. Hopeful Mumkazer Relic. It would give us defense 10, plus 10 vitality, plus 10 dex. Our old one is defense 1... Same thing. Uh, plus 10 to strength. Plus 3 vitality. Heal for bonus 15% of your current hit points. I don't think we need that. Let's stick with what we got. But let's take a look at it after we salvage. You, can't, you apparently can't carry two. We got a wood splint. Um, let's look at our character. And our inventory, specifically. Okay, that's not what I want. I want my... Uh, like, what am I wielding? What's my equipment? We can see the charm. Is it just plus 10 strength and plus 3 vitality, or does it do something else? Can I tell what that does? Didn't it have a secondary effect? We can view the game manual. Yikes. See, this is I, I, this I meant to do in between, but you, you can't get to this unless you load the game, and I don't want to like, load up the game while you're not here, so I don't know. Um, we'll look at it as we need. Let's not, let's not worry about it too much just now. 
For now, we're doing okay. Let's get combat mechanics at least, maybe. Fighting enemies back to back. Oh, will result in a bo bonus experience and damage. That's neat. Experience and damage bonus makes maxes out of three stacks. Running, healing outside of combat, and visiting town will reset this. Rage meter. This bar increases as you perform combos. This meter has a value between 0 and 30. Ultimate. Players cannot run when their ultimate is charged. This is an intentional game mechanic, not a fucking bug, so get over it. After using a finisher, your move will set. Your move set will swap. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That's why we keep getting different options. After repositioning two times in a row, your move set will swap. So if you don't like it, you can do that. Unarmed combo bonus. Combo bonus. Pardon me. Using fists enables combo on hit to increase by two, up from one. This is when monsters are winding up, I guess. All enemies have a 10% chance to, to wind up per turn. Winding up can only trigger when enemy is close. I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. We'll look at we'll look at these rules occasionally, but not constantly. So we're not going to sit here for an hour and read through the rulebook with you watching. But we'll read through it occasionally so we're on the same page, so to speak. Uh, winding up can only trigger when enemy is close. Player can reposition to move away from the wind up. Okay. After winding up, player will get mega pummeled. 33% chance for a wound. Damage taken scales up with exposed stacks. Okay, that's interesting to know in general. Maybe only from winding up, I don't know. Getting mega pummeled will void any potential grapple attempt. Okay, we've only seen that once, but alright. Ambushing player. After repositioning four times, player's next attack will ambush. This will daze the enemy and increase player's combo count by six. Okay, interesting. Hit confirms grapples, charges, and focus. Context buttons will sometimes trigger upon a successful reposition. Hit confirms staggers enemies so that you may grapple them afterwards. Grapples deal up to 300% damage. I think that's what tilt means. I don't know. And dazes enemies. Charging deals insane damage, scaling with distance from the enemy. 33% chance to hit. This is the maximum size of this window, guys, as far as I can tell. So, um, Charge to hit. Percentage scales with combo count as I'm losing track again. There's so much information coming at me, I'm losing track of what it is. Upon attempting to charge, player will move three steps closer to enemy. Focus will double the current combo count. Daze and dazing prevents enemies from attack for that turn. Interrupts charge and wind up as well. Okay, let's learn one more thing about this distances because I haven't noticed any distances. Distance mechanic. Okay, we did see that. See that little zero, that little O rather next to close. I mentioned one time the the bracket changed. Uh, the bracketed symbol changed that little O. So I'm thinking what we have there, and I'll show you the next time we, we fight an enemy, we can see this, is an actual graphical depiction of their closest to us. Rather than have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's literally the bigger the symbol there, the closer they are to us. It's like a growing thing. Enemies that ambush you will start in closest proximity. Enemies that don't ambush you will start in farthest proximity. If enemies are closest to you, they will start exposing you. Okay. We've seen that happen. You can increase your distance by one via reposition or run. I thought run was like, get the hell away, unless I think a retreat. You can increase your distance by three via using your ultimate. Oh, okay. So you want to be far distance, I guess. Grapples, 300% attack can only be triggered if close to enemy. Hit confirms, 50% attack will only lead to a grapple if close. Alright. Whatever that means, hit confirms. Definitions, far perks will apply to all three distances with far. That's farthest, farther, and far, I guess. Close perks will apply to all three distances with close. Close, closer, closest. Got it. Alright, well, that's interesting. Let's not worry about it anymore for now. Let's not get information overload. Let's check back in with that as, as, as circumstances require. Let's proceed here and put to ease what we've learned. Charge Lot Skeleton is relaxing on a rock. Hint, do not use the Konami code in this game. Okay, I don't know what that means. Must be a reference to Sega or something. Oh, this guy is not hard to get. So we can see see underneath his hit points, there's a little un, there's a little bracket that is empty. Um, that means he's um, farthest. But whatever, he's ready to fight at the farthest distance. Um, none of these seem to say they have anything to do with closest or farthest. We could press five to run, which get, I guess gives us three distance. Maybe you have to run until you're past farthest to get away. I don't know, but interesting to note. Let's just go with the basics for now. We know it'll work on this guy. He's not that tough. I'm going to use a bash. Which uses no magic points. Gives us a 50% chance to hit, I'm guessing. Or maybe it does 50% of our attack value and damage. I think our attack is 89 to 40, 148. So we'll do half of that to him. But it'll also add 87 because of my intelligence. Well, that was it. We got a critical hit. 
That's because of our dexterity. Did 280 damage, killed him. Alright. This is not bad at all, guys. More experience. Item drop. A new charm. Um, it is higher stats. Maybe we'll just take this. Has a 10% chance to bleed the enemy's turn too. Let's just do that. Uh, the base is giving us uh, 34 stat increase instead of 13. So I guess we'll take that. Equip it. Salvaging the old item from which we got rawhides. Two rawhides. Let's go back there. This is working. Let's just keep going back there for now. Newsy. What brings you here? Oh, the matron. Alright. I guess we met some dude. A medium potato has decided to follow you around. This is a weird game, guys. You have obtained a rose. <laughs> is there any way we can see, like, who's following? Let's go to the blacksmith for a second. Q. Let's look at the mercenaries and see if it, like, tells us... Okay, the, the medium potato that's following us isn't indicated anywhere. Maybe he just gave us that... that rose? I think it's time, guys, to do another look at the damn rules, and I'm sorry to do this, um, but I think we need to. I don't remember how. Do you? Son of a gun. Character? I don't see the... I'm not seeing how to get to the rules again. I want to read about potatoes. Alright, there's nothing, nothing interesting about that. Interesting, so when we, whenever we use heal, there's a 20% chance we bleed the enemies. Whenever we reposition, there's a 20% chance we burn enemies. And whenever we use our ultimate, we automatically bleed enemies. Okay, good to know again. Um, I'm not seeing... Weapon deal damage equal to 1% of your current hit points per turn. I guess this is an automatic bonus, if I remember correctly. Uh, charm, while cursed, has a 10% chance to bleed enemy each turn. Alright. Oh, view game email. Potatoes. What the hell is this potato phones around? The first rule of potatoes is you have to talk about potatoes. The second rule of potatoes is you have to eat potatoes. The third rule of potatoes is you must do what the potato says. The fourth rule of potatoes is you trust in the power of the spud. The fifth rule of potatoes is there will always be more rules. Um, alright. That didn't help us much. I'm a little... I'm a little curious about body types, too. We'll check that out at some point. We, we, we went with a medium body type. But... Not right now. This is an interesting game, man. You have found a commodity coupon, redeemable at the market for an item. It's very random. It feels, in a way, like we're playing a, a first-person view of Talisman, you know what I mean? With ASCII graphics. Redeemable at the what? The market, maybe? There's that fart sound again. Let's do our coupon. You have used your commodity coupon. And gained two wood splints. Alright. Want to sell our diamond? Let's sell the fucking diamond. And let's go back. Let's go to the blacksmith really quickly. See if he has a better weapon for us or not. Let's view item three. A tomb wand. I don't think we want that. No thanks. We let this one out back. That was a terrible accent. I don't know what the accent that was. That was just like a random... Random no accent at all, like a Beta Z accent. Alright, West Haven Fields it is. Buzzard is humming in an inaudible sound, alright. I think we can take everything here, let's just keep fighting for a bit, because we are leveling up, I think it'll make it easier to take on the, the rogues, the brigands, whatever they are. I'm enjoying this, I may just keep recording this whether you guys want me to or not. <laughs> I'm just having fun with it. So hopefully you want me to. Divine Justice is pretty straightforward, mind you, at least the way I'm handling it. Dead. Alright. There's something about snare next to us. I don't know what that means. Maybe we were snared? Nightfall is upon us. The undead have grown stronger. Um, we could probably rest if we wanted to to pass some time. Let's not do that. Let's... Oh. Molten plus Doomcaster. 
Skeleton is humming in an audible sound. All right, don't be afraid to run from losing battles. We've learned that lesson. But we got this man, even though it's molten. I'm assuming that means it can burn us? I don't know what the question mark under attack is. I'm sure the question, the empty space under hit points means it's farthest. But it doesn't really matter right now. Let's just do our... Uh... I think our basic system is working here. We killed it with one hit. I did a bash and we got it. You've annihilated the skeleton. All right. And leveled up. Whereupon, I'm going to pump it into strength. Let's make our dude fucking strong as fuck. All right. Let's also upgrade our attack again. Seems to be doing all right with us. Let's do our heavy mastery. I'm going to wait for one more level up in the West Haven Fields, then I'm going to go to the rogue camp and see how that goes. This lurg is ironclad. Maybe that's why its color is different? So ironclad enemies will take 50% reduced damage. Alright, he's going to be harder to kill. Nonetheless, let's kill him. He also gets vampiric, maybe, as a lurg? I don't know. He's guarding. I don't know what guarding does. I imagine he takes less damage as a result. Let's try our final blast. Not enough. We've been immolated. Let's do Holy Light. Divine Rend. Keep an eye on our... We're also bleeding out. Maybe five damage per turn? Alright, that's gone. We do heal every turn. Shield Slam. Mending Slam is the finisher. Dead. Alright. 23 experience, 45 gold. Back to the West Haven Fields. One more level up. A mercenary has been spotted walking into the Blacksmith's Forge. Alright, let's check him out. We got lots of gold. We can afford another mercenary, I guess. Um, show me the mercenaries. Gonim, the assassin, will assist you in battle with 8 damage, sure. Got him. So we have an extra 17 damage per turn, I'm guessing. Found another pamphlet. Let's read it. To those who say that we do not need the finer points of doctrine, I must advise you that you are wrong. Unless you know who love is and where love comes from, how are you going to go out and love? I am not the one. I am not perfect. But on behalf of the Brotherhood, if you disagree, consider whether or not you are being divine or evil. All right. Um, is there some sort of castle in front of us? Like, as a result of finding the path? But I'm not seeing a way in. I'm not seeing, like, an X to go in or anything. So I don't think we can do anything here. We can try X just to see if it has any effect. No, it does nothing. We can try, like, N to see if it lets us climb in a window. But it's not it's not highlighted in green. No. I think there's nothing we can do here. So let's just go back to the West Haven Fields. Another one. Let's go get the final uh, guy we can get for now. Mercenaries. Doids... Doidist, the wizard, will assist you in battle with 9 damage. Let's hire him too. Let's hire a fucking retinue. Basically, have a party now. Molten Snot is ahead on the road. Hint. Molten enemies... Oh, will deal consider continuous fire damage to you. Okay. I'm learning what this stuff means. Ironclad, 50% less damage. Molten deals continuous fire damage to us. Got it. Nonetheless, low hit points by comparison to us. Let's kill it. We do have... Let's just do Alter Holy Wrath right now. Done. Killed that son of a bitch. Um, well, we slaughtered him. Let's go back, like I said, one more level up, and then we'll go to the rogue camp. A Desecrator. Oh, it's a Myrrh. Desecrator enemies will bleed you frequently, okay? And it's a Myrrh. It's some sort of ant, it looks like. I love the graphics. I wish the graphics would stay on screen while I was fighting, you know? It's close. You can see that under its hit points. Not that that necessarily matters. I don't know. It does. We're exposed by one now because we're close. I mean, I think that means if he does his ultimate or whatever, it'll do more damage to us or something like that. Ooh, he's hurting us bad. Let's do a holy light right away. We lost our finisher there. Let's do 
the final blast and hope that's enough to kill him. Not quite, but we almost have him. I think we can finish this off if we go quick. We have a wound. He mega, me mega pummeled us. I didn't notice his winding up. Thank God. I was getting close. Alright, we're going to rest here after this one. Uh, we got 25 experience, 60 gold. Let's do a rest. Alright. Back to the West Haven Fields. There's also the Tavern and Coliseum we should investigate. Here's another Murr. But this one is not um, spiky or whatever the hell it was. Desecrator. The funny thing is that, that, that question just popped up there. Have you ever considered a, a career in data entry? Um, I am currently pursuing a job in data entry. Uh, it's... Um, my, as I said, my theater just got basically laid off, at least for temporarily. My my day job got laid off. Um, and my best hope right now for renewed work is data entry, so I'm hoping to God it comes through. So yes, I'm considering a, maybe not a career, but a, I'm considering an escape hatch via data entry. Please, please, please come through for me. Dead. Alright, experience gold. Back to the West Haven Fields, my friends. A belcher is in the distance. It looks like snot. Hint, if you get ambushed by a boss, the only thing to do is cry. <laughs> we can do Holy Wrath for the bat. Let's just do it. Done. Gotta level up soon, man. I'm not sure where to see um, how close we are. Maybe we can tell in our character sheet here. Let's see C for character info. No, it's not displaying to us our experience or how close we are. He's not here. Well, I can see game manual. Let's look at body types. Let's find out what our medium body type did for us. Medium. Okay, no changes to base stats. But here you go for future reference if you're creating a new character and you're playing along. Tiny, plus one dexterity, minus one strength. Thin, plus one dexterity, minus one vitality. Medium, nothing. Muscular, plus one strength, minus one dexterity. Thick, plus one vitality, minus one dexterity. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Very simple and small effect, but cool. Let's go back. Let's go back again. Let's go back to the West Haven Fields, my friends. We found a cherubi. Okay. I don't know what that is. Should I know what that is? Let's go to the tavern. Tavern. Oh, we can, we can give him the rose. Or give her the rose to, like, a barmaid or something? I don't know what this is about. Let's try it, because we have it. Oh my, how thoughtful of you. Here, have this. Oh, we traded in for some. That's kind of neat. So you, bring a, you can bring a rose to a tavern and give it to a barmaid, it looks like. The Toothmaster Shard. We don't want it. But thank you. I'm hanging on to the scrap metal for now instead of selling it, just because I want to, um... I want to get a chance to try and you know, use that stuff. Here's some, some, some sort of ox called a cron. It trampled us. Hint. Gladius derives his income from magic portals in the Colosseum. We're going to look at that in a minute, the Colosseum. We got trampled. I'm guessing it's confused. I'm guessing that's what that means in the, in the brackets. Maybe it's like an unintelligent monster, so it's always confused. I don't know. We hit it for 143. It has for 134. We hit it for only... 204. It hit us for 198. I think we can finish it before it finishes us. There we go. 15 experience, 63 gold. You murdered the Kron. Uh, let's do another rest, guys. Back to the fields until we level up once more. A small hand f a bundle of fruit is on the ground. I guess let's pick it up. Why would we kick it? It might be a trap, I guess. Let's pick it up anyway. You pick up the fruit and gobble it up probably healed me, and I didn't need to heal there for him. Oh my god! A dragon. Uh, run. Run like the fucking world depends on it. Because it does. Did I do it? You successfully escaped! Thank god. Holy shit, guys. I was not expecting that. Was it Skyrim? A sputum is standing still. Jesus. Uh, tougher than the snot. This sputum. <laughs> he seems to be using all the names like 
weird names for phlegm. I wonder if we'll meet phlegm. I wonder if we'll meet, like, a loogie or something, you know? Killed it easy enough, though. We thrashed it, no less. We have not yet leveled up again, though. Come on, man. This thing's fast. Eret has hexed you. Hint, fast enemies are swift and can dodge stuns. It probably closes distance fast. That's probably what that means. I'm just going through the basics again, guys. Bash. Followed by EX Smite Flurry. Followed by Divine Justice. Eret is winding up for an elaborate pummel. Okay. It mega pumped me for 340, but that's fine. Let's final blast it. Starting to get a bit of the hang of this. Item drop. Two scrap metals. Alright, man. This has got to come to fruition soon. Raven has kicked you in the genitalia. It's definitely going for humor, and I don't know if that humor always lands. Let's be ready to heal ourselves soon, because we're kind of in a, at a disadvantage at the start here. It seems to be confused. Again, that may indicate a, like maybe all unintelligent enemies are permanently confused. Don't know what confusion does for them, though. Its attack has been blocked by our shield, I guess. Alright. Another item drop. That's alright. Oh! Redeeming Leather Armor. It would lower our defense, but it would increase our wisdom and our intelligence by a substantial amount. I don't know enough to know if you know, defense is important to maintain, or... I'm going to default to the idea that we, from our armor, we're seeking the highest defense possible. And for now, that's what I'm going to go with, so I'm going to salvage this. Two rods. Another Eret. This one's a Mascus. Mascus enemies gain 1% attack when they take damage. That's interesting. Okay. Do a holy wrath right off the bat. Done. Oh, a new shield, a blessed Gui shield instead of the normal Targe shield. It's a light. It only blocks five percent of the time, but gives us better stats. I'm going to salvage it. I'm enjoying this, guys. I'm intrigued by it. It's definitely got the roguelike quality in the same way that, say, um, something like Darkest Dungeon does. You're not going through a, you know, a specific uh, grid-like map, but you are getting random events and random encounters. A wall of water blocks your path. Let's run through it. You run through the water, grab the loot, and get out. Reminds me, in some ways, of the board game Barbarian Prince. Uh, so a new charm if we want it, <clears throat> but it's significantly inferior to our old ones. Let's just salvage it. Let's keep salvaging for now until we can figure out what to do with this crafting material, unless it's only for sale. Terragon has punched you in the face. Let's hope he's not as bad as a dragon. Uh, he's as bad as a dragon. Let's run. Okay, fuck it. It's winding up, too. Let's run like fucking hell. Alright, we got out of there just in time. Oof. Back to the West Haven Fields. Alright, good. So we know this guy's going to get 1% um, extra attack every time he takes damage, I think is what it said. Charge Lot. It also has that... It probably told us what that skill did earlier. Probably he charges. He is far away right now. He's confused now, and he's dead. Oh, a lot of experience for that. What is this? I guess we're standing near a tree? It's daylight now. Maybe at night we were staying close to the town, that's why it looked like that? I don't know. We gotta be getting close to leveling up, guys. It's gotta be. A glooper. He's immune. Immune enemies are impervious to ultimates. Okay, so we can't use an ultimate on this dude. Haven't needed to so far. And we've got him. And that'll leave our ultimate charged up for the next one. Oh, we got a second one Renora, so we hopefully get extra experience out of this, right? A, a 
punishing Doomcaster skeleton is standing erect. Again, now, uh, it probably told us what Doomcaster did earlier, and I didn't notice it. But we can start off with a Feral Lash on him. Let's do that. Got him. A lot of experience, a lot of gold. We're getting a lot of experience for the skeletons in particular, I'm noticing. A normal Gui shield. Uh, ooh, significant stat increase, though, guys. I'm taking it. That one. Oh, look at our hit points dropped. Our hit points dropped a lot. Now, is it because it's daytime? Did I not notice this? In daytime, we have less hit points? Or is it because we switched to that shield, and that shield was somehow giving us a lot of hit points? I don't know. I don't like our new hit points, I'll tell you that much. Sticking with the plan. Jodelil, the matron who ate my poor wife. You look like a chick yourself. Maybe you're a... Well, maybe, maybe you are. That's fine. Um, just a random encounter that had no effect. Mer. Turning on detailed UI will show you much more information. We're going to do that in a second. For now, let's do a uh, bash. And an X smite flurry. And a divine justice. And then a final blast. You've dismembered the myrrh. You got experience, you got gold. And finally, level up. Okay, I'm going to say vitality right now. Um, our health is a little lower than I'd like. For whatever reason. Oh, I didn't... Was that still vitality? I didn't notice. And I, I, didn't, I didn't see what I took there, to be honest. I took number one. And heavy mastery, of course, is what we're sticking with. Um, I'm going to suggest we now try and turn on this detailed UI if we can figure out how. Character? Hmm. Huh. Character again? No. Huh. Um... go to the main menu, but I don't want to risk uh, fucking this up. Maybe we won't bother for now. I'll try The next time we see the opportunity to access options, we'll take it. Just keep your eye open for that. I don't, I don't know where to look for that. Let's go to the rogue camp. We said we'd do it as soon as we leveled up. We leveled up. Numbing Gigantic Warlock is eating some potatoes. So it's a warlock with the additional status effects of numbing and gigantic hint. Numbing enemies will hide your health values. Oh, shit. That's interesting, isn't it? We don't know what our fucking health is. That's fascinating, and it's fucking tougher than I'd like. Let's run away. Um, I don't know if we're ready for this yet. Look at that. Let's rest again. Let's visit the Coliseum see what that's all about. So it's an arena where we can fight, I'm guessing. Questing Keystone. Look at this. There's so, so much weird shit here, guys. It's really fascinating. Let's talk to him first. I'm really intrigued with everything this game is doing. It's got so much to it. Gladius. Bunny's so cute, but fighter cannot have bunny. Quite the fancy area you're guarding there. What's your weapon of choice? How did you get this job? Can you teach me to get muscles like that? Let's so talk about the Coliseum itself. You think I no need to guard Robedaria, but I do. What is it called? I call it Gladius Manly Arena for men, but they say name too long. I feel fat in these pants. Need to lift more weights. Uh, what's your weapon of choice, Gladius? I like taking man, put in headlock, flex perfect muscles. Just men sounds like it's gonna be homophobic, so let's just dodge that one. I prefer sharp things. Sharp things is not for Gladius. Too much man for sharp things. Three, how did you get this job? I am, how you say, volunteer. Seriously? I do not need to be paid. Why not? We're gladly paid to watch men fight. Four, can you teach me to get muscles like that? Ah, you want strong muscles like our friend Gladius. Wonderful. Well, I do have to fight the matron at some point, so we have our quest very clearly outlined. Matron is weak, woman. Use magic. I teach you beater and arm wrestle. I need to defeat her, not arm wrestle her. Is not defeat and arm wrestle manliest win aside from wrestling? My accent is morphing, guys. 
Let's go back. Alright, let's, um, let's uh, to get his quest. We have it. I'm in need of a garbanzo. I can't seem to get enough of them. I wonder if there's a quest in the tavern, too. Let's look at our training. You are now in a simulation. Run when you're done training. Does this mean I can't get hurt? What the fuck is that thing? Yes, that thing. We can run away at any time we want. It only does one damage. It has a million health. You think it's possible we could ever take it down? I mean, let's just give it a little college try here. Oh, we're bleeding, though. Alright, let's, uh, let's run. I don't know what the hell we're doing here. I don't want to do training. What is E Graveyard? Oh, that's for previously dead characters, I'm guessing. Alright, so. We can go to the arena rank 1. Maybe? It's not highlighted, so maybe we can't. Let's try it. No. Questing Keystone Procedural Dungeons. Let's grab that. Okay. Um, let's act... What, what is this first? Keystone Portals Overview. Portals to new randomized dungeons will open up periodically. These dungeons are more challenging than the main quest line. Should you make it to the end of each dungeon, a boss awaits. Defeating the boss will give you a guaranteed chest drop. Wardrobes can also be dropped from slaying these bosses. Additional info, legendary drop rate. We weapon drop rate is increased in these dungeons. Ascendant weapons can only be found from dungeon bosses. If we're having trouble with the main quest line, do you not think we'd get our ass kicked in something that's even tougher? I don't think we should go in there yet. It's cool. I'm thrilled that it exists. We know where to find it later. We do not want to return our masteries. We're happy with that. Ah, there's what you need the silver key for that we sold earlier. We could have got in the arena rank one. So we'll find another silver key. We will not get rid of it. Back to the West Haven Fields, I'm afraid. A small metal piece is on the ground. Pick it up. You pick up the metal piece, but then carelessly drop it. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Uh, a prat has grazed our eyebrows. Once your combo meter fills up, fills up your ultimate changes. Changes? Interesting. Where is our rage meter? Do you think it's, do you think it's this, maybe? That's our magic points. It's probably the status bar of that. Do you see a rage meter? Is it is it here? Maybe it's this. This, I'm assuming, has to... I don't know. Maybe this has to fill out before you need... I don't know what the hell is, all this is. I know we got the repost unlocked earlier when we leveled up, but I don't know what to do with it. You stretch your arms. Here we go again. Alright, we bashed it. Let's flurry it. Oh, we killed it. Alright, well, let's see what's in the chest we just found. Eight. Chest opened. Item found. A normal cuirass. Again, such a massive increase in stats, eh? But I'm going to stick with the defense, too. Such an increase in stats. Alright, fine. We did it. Oh, look, our hit points did go up a lot. It must have something to do with maybe our, our strength and our, I don't know, our, our, our strength and wisdom going up maybe really increases. I don't know. Our hit points definitely just rose a lot. A small metal card is on the ground. Pack it up! You pick up the card, it turns into a charm. A vamp tally hand mark. Shiny. Uh, it would certainly fucking increase our strength. Let's just do the math. 38 bonus versus 34 bonus. Let's take it. Equip it. Alright. Done and done. Gurgle has punched us in the face. Hint, if you see a green X in the town, hub scream, press X. Yeah, okay, we've done that. We've figured that out on our own. Let's just go ahead and fight. Critical, oh, nice. We're killing shit easily in the fields now, mostly. But, I mean, how much do we have to level up before we go on to the uh, rogue camp, right? That that rogue camp did not feel like it was... Uh, that first. Well, let's try going back there. Is it going to be the same monster? Is it, is it dangerous? Yes. Shrouded initiate has grazed your eyebrows. Shrouded enemies will hide their hit points from you. Okay, that's interesting. I don't fear that as much. 
let's just go the usual route. I seem to see its hit points. Didn't it just drop? I can see its hit points, guys. Maybe it's sort of a value. Maybe a percentage, but not a value. Initiate is dashing in our direction, and we are exposed. He's trampled us for a fuck ton of damage. Let's uh, heal. Let's use our holy light, rather. And divine rend. X reckoning. Our shield slam. And our mending slam. He's dead. All right, you've rolled the initiative. The initiative, pardon me. A lot of experience, a lot of gold. And we're back to full health, so let's try that again. I like the different effects they have. That's really cool. They shrouded, you know, Doomcaster. I, mean, I don't know what that means yet. I, I didn't absorb what that does. It probably told us in the first time we played. I don't think we need a Holy Wrath, and we could, but we have the, uh, we have the ability to kill him readily, I think. So let's not waste it. We'll save the Holy Wrath in case we meet, like, a Warlock again or something. Bested the Skeleton. All right. A Silver Key. Let's go immediately to the Colosseum. And let's go in the arena, rank one. Win Soul Shards here. Don't know what a Soul Shard is. So Jericho the Reaper. Jericho Reaper is eagerly awaiting us. Okay, he has Blinding. Blinding enemies will obscure your moves. Oh. I'm going to follow the usual pattern. Actually, we can do R for ultimate, can't we? If it's still there. Yep. <laughs> because I knew it was there from before. That's great. All right. So much for Jericho Reaper, eh? Your arena rank has increased to two. Congratulations, you have won a soul shard. You obtained one soul shard. What do I do with that? Got a lot of experience in gold for that, too. Let's go back. How about... Let's see if we can find out what Doomcaster does. Charge a lot. We've seen enemies deal additional damage when charging. Okay, Doomcaster enemies will doom your hit points often, having it. Oh, okay. That's pretty interesting. This is fascinating, guys. I'm kind of into this game now. It took me a while to warm up to it, but I'm like kind of... As I start to cotton to it, I'm like, whoa, this is getting kind of neat. What about... Um, let's take a look at crafting. Oops, pardon me. Progress. If bar is filled, the craft is a success. Durability. If this reaches zero, the craft is a failure. Heat. If the heat gets too high, durability is halved. Quality. The higher the quality, the better the item. Okay, well, that's 101. Uh, hammer. All right, this is looking a little complex. Uh, very little heat. Increases progress, but lacks quality. So this is, I think it's actually a, st a stage thing we would actually, like a little mini game we would go through to, to do this. Probably the blacksmith? Medium, very fast progress, generates a little bit of quality. Strong, increases quality greatly, but slow and heat intensive. Weight, decreases both heat and progress, etc. Experiment with the rest of the crafting options. Goal, keep an eye on durability. Don't overheat the item. So if it reaches zero, we're, we've broken it. And if it fills, we're successful. Got it on progress. Finish the item with the durability between 1 and 50. Skill level goes up if the above two conditions are met. So if you don't if you don't break it and you finish it with the durability between 1 and 50, your skill level at crafting maybe goes up. Remember, get your quality rating as high as possible. Let's try this. Let's, let's see if we can go to the oh, additional crafting info. Skill level gives a bonus to starting quality equal to level. Okay. Um, assuming that's your skill level at this. Hammer level. Okay. The higher levels increase if you have a better hammer maybe. The sum of all your crafting materials divided by 10 gives a bonus to starting quality equal to level. I don't know, man. This is interesting. Do we... There's factions we can learn about later. Let's at least, let's at least check it out and see if, we, see if we can figure out how to do that. If we go to the blacksmith, can we figure out how to do that? Imbue, maybe? R. Imbue in your weapon will cost... 2,229 of your 5,940 gold. Yes, I'd love plus 6 damage. That sounds perfect. Nah, I think so. Really, we'll probably get a better weapon. Let's not do it yet. That's a lot of money. We can redeem, redeem our scrap metal. We don't want to do that, though. We want to figure out how to craft ourselves. Like, how to do it. 
Maybe we have to give him his palladium before we can unlock the forge for our own use? I don't know. We'll keep an eye out, guys. Smiter, Air Rat, has fallen onto you from a tree. Hint, Smiter enemies will drain your magic points, rage, and ultimate often. Oh, fuck me. Alright, let's kill it quickly, because we won't have the option to heal if he rain destroys our um, magic points here. Alright. Plus 14 experience, plus 41 gold. And a chest, which we will open by pressing 8 and hitting enter. And we will find... Ooh, a greater great hauberk. Yes, indeed, please. Um, so, it is light armor, apparently. But, defense back to 2, and our stats are still damned high. Uh, 27, 36, instead of... 34, I think, actually. Let's use it, for sure. Equip it. Alright, man. Immune? So we can't use our ultimate on it. And it is a mana thresh. We didn't learn what that did. Skeleton is crudely gesturing at you. Um, I don't think we can look at the rule book from here. I don't think we need to. We kill the skeletons pretty easily. Maybe as a paladin? We're still in Act 1, by the way, guys. Apparently there's multiple acts. I'm imagining once you get past... Once you leave the area of this particular town, I'm guessing you go to Act 2. We still have to kill three elites in the rogue camp, by the way, guys. So we go back there? Caustic and Vengeful, Grunt, has fallen onto you from above. Caustic enemies start players... Oh, shit. 50% max hit points. Let's heal immediately. Oh. Oh yeah, I see. Our max. Oh no, it's not just our fucking hit points. It's our max hit points. He is tripping around though. We can press X to grapple. Let's try it. The opportunity presented itself. Let's go for it. You've grappled him for a shit ton of damage, and we dodged his attack. I don't know what repost does exactly. It's saying it'll cost us 30 magic points and cause no damage, but I don't really know what it does. Do we have to fill up that meter or anything first. I don't know. Let's go the usual road. Let's bash him. Critical. You've hit Grunt for 288 damage. He is now confused. He remains caustic and vengeful. We dodged him. So far, this battle is going well. Hit him for 243. He's been damaged due to hitting itself. Maybe because he was confused? Maybe confused randomly attacks a, a, a given enemy? We are exposed. Can we, um... I don't see the ability to... Re oh, we can reposition if we want. That'll get rid of the exposure. We got slashed. Slash our exposed face for 199. Let's reposition again. Let's do it four times in a row if we can. If we can get away with it. We hit him in the process. Or maybe not. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe I was pressing dodge. Alright. Um, X Reckoning. Sure. Shield Slam. Minus 10 magic points. 250% of our attack value. And a critical, so it really hurt him. And then the finisher, which is minus 20 magic points, 500 times, or 5 times our attack value. And we get 71 hit points. Yes, please. Let's just finish him off here. Divine Justice. And another finisher somehow. We got him. I'm intrigued with this. We've slain the Grunt, plus 133 experience, plus 277 gold. Again, I don't know if this is entertaining for you guys to watch. I have no idea if you're enjoying this or not, but I really am, so I'm going to finish the playthrough. And, you know, some of you will join me through that journey, some of you will not, I suspect. Let me know your thoughts on this game. As I said, I believe it was free at one point in time, and then he made the Steam version, and then it simultaneously existed as a free version, and then the Steam version. The Steam version is not expensive, though. I'd say it's, I'd say it's worth it so far, in my opinion. Um, I think we're gonna stick with Vitality one more time, just because I'm still feeling a little bit nervous about my health. Upgrade our maximum hit points by thirty, or upgrade our attack again. Attack it is, heavy mastery, without a doubt. There's still two elites in the rogue camp that we have to kill. I'm going to suggest we go back there. I'm 
mercenaries was spotted walking in the blacksmith's forge. Let's go hire him. We need all the help we can get. Um, E, mercenaries. Don't we already have... Uh, we want to hire Oxy Meeked, the wizard. We have all of these, right? Like these are our mercenaries, are they not? They're they're all with us, are they not? Or do I have to do something to tire them? Do I press four again? What is it doing, guys? Am I only allowed one of them? Just dismiss all others. How do I know who's actually on my team right now? Do I have them? I'm going to assume I have them all. Can I check that anywhere? Character. Character info. Press any key. Right, we know this stuff, and that's great. My armor gives me a bonus defense roll, whatever that means. Plus 20% uh, lifesteal right, hit on hit, yeah. Oh, but drains 1% of my max hit points per turn, alright. Yeah, I don't know how to... I don't know how to see our mercenaries, or like... Or figure that out. I wish I did. I assume they're with me. I don't know that. Let's watch and see if our gold is going down each turn. First of all, does it go down when we first travel? We were at 6302. I'm going to keep this short. My boss wants Lissa dead. Take this syringe into the tavern and dispose of her. Report back to me after the dead, the deed. You'll be rewarded generously. I don't want to do that. No. Um. Our gold did not diminish with that turn, but maybe it's only in combat. Focused and empowered buzzard has mauled you. Focused enemies have vastly increased accuracy. I'm great. Oh, he's fucking tough, too. Oops. It's charging me, man. We are exposed now. And that hurt. I'm still gonna do the final blast. We don't need to heal yet. Let's do Holy Wrath. Winding up for a big old hit, but we have full health, so what can we do? Alright, we got it. Got a lot of experience and a lot of gold for that, guys. Uh, there's only one guy left there. Can I go tell her that somebody's trying to kill her? I don't want to kill her. Warner, yes, it's Warner. Warner Lissa. Hello there, kind sir or madam. Inform Lissa of the plot. You inform Lissa of the Brotherhood's murder plot. They're after me? You shrug, being unable to tell her anything else. I have to get out of here. Lissa runs out of the tavern, screaming. She has left behind a trinket. You assume control of the tavern. Not wanting to keep the patrons waiting, do I own it now? Alright, a normal spiky shirt relic. Nah. Salvage. Look at this! We now own a tavern! How wacky is this game, guys? What the fuck is going on? Let's entertain them with tales of our adventures. Oh, five. You leap around on the counter, knocking over a mug of beer. The guests' face are blank and unfeeling. They don't care for your act. Well, fuck you, then. They use some energy, too, somehow. Um, let's restock our beer. Sell beer. We're making a tiny bit of gold, guys. Let's upgrade the tavern instead. To level three or something. I don't know what it's doing for us. Let's stop spending money, therefore, on it. 
Ah, one more. We can have more beer waiting. And then we can sell it. It costs us 109 to buy it. And we get two gold for each of these. Like, it's not really a great use of my time. Maybe if I clear them all out, we'll... Oh, we got a gift. It's been placed in your shared stash. A gift box. Let's open it. A diamond. Oh, that's worth a lot of money. Okay, guys. Let's keep selling beer for the moment. Let's clear the patrons out. There's a lot more to this game than I ever would have guessed. Like, a lot more. I'm not sure how much fun I'm having running a tavern. There's no patrons to serve anymore, so I guess we're done here. Let's leave and wait till patrons regenerate. It's a way to make some gold, but it seems like a shitty way to make them. We leveled up, apparently. By running a tavern? Maybe by completing the mission of warning her? I don't know. <sighs> Vitality. And we're going to go to attack again. We're tier 2 in attack. And heavy weapons. Alright, let's go back to the rogue camp one more time. Again, I have no idea if, if the mercenaries are with us or not. Crippling Smiter. Slayer has body slammed you. Ouch. Crippling enemies can cripple you when, when you move. Our magic points are zero, I guess because he body slammed us? Fuck me, that ain't good. We may have to run from this one. He's preparing to dash. We can gain back... By repositioning, we can gain back magic points. Although we do have enough. Now let's, let's reposition. Get rid of the exposure we had, whatever that means. Now we have enough for the Divine Justice. And then enough for a final blast. But we've almost got him now. Alright, we have bested the Slayer. A new weapon, a normal base lard, basilard, basilard. Oh my god, look at that attack. Yeah, fuck yes, we want that. Let's equip it. Oh, it's a sword though. And we've put all of our effort into pole arms and axes. That's a lot of level ups, guys. I'm gonna salvage it. We're a specialist. All right, um, we've completed this quest, haven't we? Find your way through the Lost Woods is the next quest. So we can go there now. Which I guess we will do, at night. Insidious Vampiric Grunt has body slammed you. Insidious enemies grow stronger every turn. Uh oh, let's run, five. All right, let's also rest out here in the middle of the fucking woods. Same thing. This one's a Punisher, Prowler. We know what he, we don't know what Punisher does. I try to kill it. Seems like it's going okay. Seems like it's going very well. Let's save our um, our holy wrath for the next enemy. Quest. So as we made it through the woods, now our quest is to break down the rusted gate. Um, I guess we'll just try and do that with three? After hacking your way through the rogue camp, you spot a man in a blood-stained white coat. You quickly realize that he must be the doctor. You charge him, weapon raised in the air. He flees, running to an old side door of the town's monastery. The doctor desperately struggles to open the gate, but it seems to be rusted shut from years of disuse. 
The doctor gives up trying to pry the gate open, quickly turns around. He draws a knife from his coat, lunging for your jugular. Okay, he must be a boss. Decimation meter, there we can see it. This boss's meter will increase as the battle rages on. If you stun, when the meter is filled, it will deplete the meter. If the bar is filled, the boss will trample you. Which does a fair amount of damage, as I recall. I don't know how much. Oh. Oh. How interesting. Alright, he's got a weird German accent for some reason. Um, I think we're gonna die. There's, there is no running. We're gonna start with the Holy Wrath. There's no, there's no ability to run from this, so we're probably not ready for this, but we'll do our best. Holy Wrath. That helped. That's for sure. Now we can run if we wanted to. Let's try. Let's try fighting him first to see how badly it goes. He slowed us. I don't know what that means precisely in terms of the game terms. Our run is still the same. His meter's filling up, guys. I don't think he's going to be able to kill us with a single hit of it. So let's assume we're just going to keep doing this. I don't see my ultimate meter, so I have no idea. Press any key to continue. Minions, I need more scalpels. I sounded like fucking Christopher Walken there. I need more scalpels. Um. Okay. He's bleeding. We're also slowed and wounded. Let's do a holy light right away. Let's do a divine rend. I wish I knew what Repost did. He's dashing in our direction. He trampled us for, for a shit ton of damage. I'm gonna heal soon, but not yet if I can avoid it. Mending slam. Alright, we're all the way back to full health. He's preparing to dash, which was which is gonna hurt us, beyond any shadow of a doubt. Let's use our holy wrath. Uh, let's use our holy wrath in a minute. Because it gives us back. Let's use retribution right off the bat. Why, why would I want to do that? What a shitty starter. Why would I want to do that? Minions, uh, come quickly. I guess we'll stick with Christopher Walken. Minions, uh, come quickly. I, I need your help. Kind of. Holy shit. His minions showed up. The, the doctor summoned his minions, gaining 8,000 health. That's fair. <laughs> All right, let's do a Holy Wrath. You've pulverized the doctor for 2,000 damage. Damn skippy I have. Let's, um... Oh, fuck, I wish I knew what Repost did. I forget what it does. Should we try it? I think it's. I, I think it'd be dangerous to, to try experimenting right now. Fuck me. He's confused. Let's Divine Justice him while he's confused. And Final Blast him as well. Now, let's... Well, we don't need to heal, really, do we? Not right now, we don't. I have a feeling Repos would help us, but I'm afraid to use it. Um, let's do a Holy Light. He's about to fucking heal up. Or about to fucking charge us or something, you know? Let's do Reckoning, not, uh... We don't need any health back, so let's do Reckoning. Um, we definitely have to Holy Light. Reckoning. No, Divine Rend. Reckoning. Let's go a little bit cautious here, guys. I'm, I'm quite nervous here. Um, three for Shield Slam. Now the Mending Slam finisher. I've almost got him. Let's do Holy Wrath. Woo, that hurt him. Alright, out of these two, we want... I'm going to stick with Bash. I don't want to do anything that's going to hurt my health. Alright, Smite Flurry. 
divine justice. And the final blast, which might kill him. No, damn close, though. Alright. Fuck, I know he's got us kind of on the ropes here, but we got him more on the ropes. Let's do, let's do Reckoning. Now let's do Divine Ren to get a little bit more health back. You've hit the Doctor for 104 damage. He's now guarding with apparently no health. Incidentally, if you look down at our R, our, our ultimate is cursed. I don't know what's going on with that. Reckoning. He's guarding. What does that mean? Let's break our opponent's guard by repositioning. Now let's do a fucking Holy Light first. Oh, we're cursed. We can't get any more health than that, I'm guessing. Let's reposition. Breaks his guard. Now it's Shield Slam. Ha <laughs> ha! You've hit the doctor for 666 damage. There goes my medical license. <laughs> wait, wait. We can make a deal, right? How about I give you 50% of my profits? Fine, fine, 75%. How about... Not wanting to hear the rest, you stab the doctor in the face. <laughs> you pry the rusted gate open and enter the monastery. You get another soul shard, whatever those are used for. And there's a picture of some sort of, like, crackling energy orb? We gotta, we gotta save this in a second. It's going on, we've gone over the hour. Buried beneath the sands are lost souls of a time long past. Cool graphics. Listen to their echoes, and may they grant you great power from within. Choose a new personality. Okay. Choose a personality. We can be gentle. Plus five dexterity, minus three intelligence. The cleanest kill is the most humane. Bold. Plus three strength, minus two vitality. When taking a risk, sometimes you need faith. Or docile. Plus six vitality, minus four strength. Casted heal on spiders as a child. <sighs> In terms of just net gain of stats, either gentile or docile yields two, whereas bold only yields one. So I think I'm going to go with... You know, I'm going to go with gentle. No. Yeah, gentle. The cleanest kill is the most humane. That's not my picture, by the way. That's not the picture of us. I trust that you've made the right decision. You have thrashed the doctor and got a shit ton of experience and a lot of gold. And an item. A new charm, Spudly Mean Pump Token. Nah, salvage it. 66% bonus damage when using a weapon named Potato, but we're not. Yes, indeed. Let's put our strength back up because we just lost some to the to the new personality. You see our attack value rising as we do that. Um, I'm gonna stick with upgrading our attack for now. I think. No, let's go with armor. We can start getting a higher chance to block enemies. And let's stick with heavy mastery. You've unlocked a new ability, barrier. Finally, there's some, something about our skill set that has to do with barriers. Shield you and your loved ones from harm with this defensive ability. Barrier stacks will increase repost's damage. So repost does damage on hits or something. I don't remember what it does. Can we see that? Let's at least learn that and then we'll quit. We'll call it quits when that's done. Let's look at our character info. Alright. When our magic point is above 50%, we regenerate 5% of our health. Okay, our health regeneration is doubled if Rage Meter is full. Repost will heal for 50% of the damage dealt. Okay. So it'll give us back health if we get hit. Regenerate health equal to four times each magic points spent. Okay. Um, the Tides of Men are always on my side. Gain 20 magic points when attacked while the barrier is active. Alright, that's good. Um... Gain bonus attack from manual allocation of stats, points in wisdom and intelligence. We've noticed that. The derogatory name heal bot is often applied. Okay, heals are 5% more effective. Don't get close to me. 10% shock while barrier is active. Okay. Innate 10% chance to block all enemy attacks. Got it. On successful block, deal 100% damage to our, our attack to our enemy. Okay. Wow. Um, so we automatically repost, I guess, kind of. I get such a 
not necessarily the skill repost. I mean, like, in fencing, if you block and then re attack right away again, that's called the repost. So I'm assuming that's what that kind of means. We block them and we strike them right away. Um, critical hits have a 10% chance to cure all status effects. Hit confirms will heal you for 33% of your current hit points. Deal 25% damage to all skeletons. Bonus. And your damage is reduced by 25% when a heavy shield is not equipped. Oh. So we need to use heavy shields. Understood. We've got a medium, but we need to go back to heavies as soon as we can, or, or find a heavy. All right, I'm gonna call it right there, guys. We're gonna we're gonna back out. It's been an hour and 15 minutes, much longer than I intended. Well, 15 minutes longer than I intended. 25% longer than I intended. Um, so let's call it there. I'm I'm kind of digging this. This is a really interesting game. Um, I haven't never played a game quite this style. Again, the closest the closest analogy I would have in my head would be an amalgam between say. Bard's Tale, and and um, Darkest Dungeons, and maybe for the graphics, the old Wizard like Wizardry one on the on a PC when you had you know a monochrome monitor, you'd get the the ASCII graphics. There you go, we've quit. All right, I'll be back tomorrow, guys, uh, with more of this, more of State of Decay two, and I think I have a plan for what to go to after this as well in the back of my mind. We'll see how long that takes to get there. See ya.